Hello friends, welcome back once again to my video tutorial. This is Lipsa again with you. So guys, if you remember in my last video, I have described how we can convert a simple Java project to Marvin project in IntelliJ IDEA. So today we will learn how we can create an executable jar file from that Marvin project. Okay, so let's get started guys then. So this is the project we have created, employee service. So in employee service, we have two class. One is employee. Okay, one is employee and the other one is employee service so in my employee class i have the field like id name and email and in employee service i have a main method inside my main method i just simply convert a employee list to json object clear and i just print that json object so that's all about our employee service project so now we'll convert this employee service project to an executable jar file and run that jar file Okay, so you know in Java, if you have created a jar file, then we can execute the jar file in any message. Okay, so we need to create that one now. So how we can do this? Let's mark here. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to click here in the file menu, then go to project structure. In the project structure, you have the option artifacts. Okay, click on that artifacts. Then here you have a plus icon. Click on that plus icon. Then you have the option like jar. So we want to create a jar file. So jar from modules with dependencies. Okay, I'll select this option from modules with dependencies. So my module name is employee service. Now this will ask you to provide your main class. So let me click here in the browse so that I can give my actual main class name here. So I just simply write if I simply write com dot app the package name with the class name. Okay, if I search like com dot app then dot employee See, so employee service class is populated here. Okay, so this is my class which contains my main method. Okay, that is nothing but our main class. Just select this one. Then jar files from the library. So we want to extract to the target jar. So we'll select this option, extract to the target jar. Then directory for meta ins and manifest mf. So this is important. Remember your, your manifest file must be inside src main resources folder. Okay src main resources folder so i will select this one just leave it as is and click on ok so when you click on ok you can see name of your jar employee service jar and this is the output directory where your jar file will be stored that is nothing but employee service slash out or out folder will be created then inside out folder we have artifact then employee service underscore jar so this is the folder where our jar file will be stored clear now mark here. So this is the what dependencies we have added in our com.xml. So that dependencies also need to be the part of our executable jar. Else the jar file will not be executed. Okay. So hold on. You might have think we have added the lumbug jar, then Jackson annotation, Jackson core and Jackson data bind. But here only we can see three jar. Jackson data bind, Jackson core and Jackson annotation. So while lumbug is not a part of this jar because lumbug is a compile time tool so it will not be a part of runtime jar file here we don't require the lumbug jar at the time of runtime clear so that's why it is not showing over here okay so now we click on apply then okay okay it will create a jar file so let me just expand this project src main resources meta ins and manifest mf so here in the manifest mf you can see my manifest version is this one and this is the main class okay com dot app dot employee employee service this employee service contains your main method that's why it is your main class here now we need to build that jar file so how we can build so in the menu bar you can see we have a build option so i'll click on this build option then we are going to build the artifacts so click on build artifacts here you have only one jar present, so it is showing here only one jar employee service jar. So click on build. What is the action? We want to build this one. So click on build. So that will create a uh, jar file inside our out. Then inside out we have the artifacts. In our artifacts we have employee service. Inside this the jar file will be kept. Okay. Now my jar file is ready. I hope so. Out folder is created. Okay. So inside out I have the artifacts, inside artifacts I have employee service jar, inside this folder I have this jar file. Clear? 
now you can share this jar file with anyone and they can able to run this jar file in their machine clear so far so i want to now run this jar file so let me just copy this jar file path okay i'll copy the absolute path you can run this jar file in this local terminal of intellij or you can provide this jar file to anyone they can run it in their machine so let me open the command line okay so let me open this command line so to run a jar file you know the command is java hyphen jar then i'll provide the path so i just copy that path this is my path okay so let me hit enter see we are getting the same response what we are getting in our project okay this will return us a json object which is nothing but json object of employee list clear so that's all about how we can create a executable jar file from a existing maven project using intellij idea so i hope you like this video please guys do like share and subscribe my channel if you want to see more videos like this see in my next video till then thanks for watching thank you